Let's turn back to today's monster day on Wall Street. The Dow up more than 1,100 points again. But over in the bond market, yields, they continue to feel pressure. The 10-year note eyeing, not hitting, but getting close to a fresh record low. So that got us thinking. If you're searching for yield, you just want some cash, mm. right? Where can you find it? Well, maybe look to stocks because bonds aren't giving anything. And listen to this stat, which is definitely random but interesting. 71% of stocks in the S&P 500 are now yielding more than the 10-year Treasury. What's interesting? Is that music, That's but I thought it would be a lot higher than 71%. What, what was it? I think it was Galaga, yeah, actually. Galaga. Right. So let's do a little yield hunting. We're looking at three sectors of the market with attractive yields, to some anyway. And we're going to kick things off with the hard-hit retail sector. Names like Macy's, Kohl's, Gap, Tapestry, the former coach, all yielding more than 5%. Tim. Do you like any of them for a yield? Play? That's tough. And if you look at if you look at retail, it really I don't think has seen much of a bounce at all. If you look at all those names, they they actually traded up. A, a, almost every one of those names, with the, I wouldn't say Coles is broken, and I wouldn't say Tapestry is broken. Um, I, I think Macy's certainly is broken, and I think Gap is still somewhat rudderless. Um, so Tapestry, based upon their last round of numbers, where they actually beat and they guided on their core business, which was uh, you know very respectable, gross margins close to 67 percent. So you're never buying a company, I think, just for yield, because in the case of a Macy's, that's a 12 percent dividend yield because that stock's down 60 percent in the last 13 months. So I think you have to be very careful. We all know that you could one day lose that entire yield, and that's not a reason to buy a stock, in my view. Tapestry is the best all-around combination of fundamentals and a nice chunky dividend. Tapestry is also one of the top 10 albums of all time Carol by Carol King, 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 without question. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. Don't at me, please, kids at home. And I'll, but I'll say this. Kohl's to me might be interesting. You had a big volume day, 15% or so short interest. The stock has been grim death, but you know what? Maybe you flushed some people out on this last move. So if you're looking for a risk reward out of those retail names, Kohl's might actually be interesting. You, you don't think it's too late to get into Kohl's? Nice. You know, you're so far away from me, Brian, it's hard for me to hear you where I'm sitting. But Nobody's no, I ever don't. said that to me. But we do have to worry, Dan. Listen, in all these names, whatever it is, yeah. to, and sort of to Tim's point, Companies can stop paying dividends. They can cut those yields. I mean, I think Guy's point about Kohl's is a really interesting one. You know, at the end of 2018, the stock was trading 80. It's at 36 bucks right now. You get that dividend yield. So basically, the five-year low is down at these levels in the mid-30s, and you say to yourself, okay, is this stock going? The risk-reward is important. You have to have a view on the stock, on the fundamentals, and then if the dividend yield works, just understand that if you get the stock direction right, that yield's going to be lower. All right, let's switch now over to energy because, well, Obviously, a lot of very high dividend yielding names here. You got Occidental Petroleum, Schlumberger, Exxon Mobil, Chevron. Steve, I'll start with you. I mean, I don't know how much more we could talk about these companies. Exxon's yield at 6.7, I think, is the highest in 30 years. Occidental may well be the highest ever. But again, there's no guarantee these companies aren't going to cut their capital spending. Although, you know, Chevron. Yesterday, they basically said they're going to give money back to, to uh, shareholders for five years. But they could, they could cut dividends. They could cut dividends, but when I look at ExxonMobil, it's a 7% basically dividend, and then you look at it, the stock down 25% year to date. So in theory, I disagree with the game because I'd never buy something just for the yield because you can give it away in one day or two days, bad price action. And I don't believe the energy space is ripe with any type of bargains. I think we're oversupplied. I think there's a glut of energy, and I think you have to see the overall commodity start to level off first and bounce considerably from here before the subsector is actually I wonder, buying. okay, and I get it. Listen, Longer OPEC term. is meeting tomorrow and Friday. We did something on Power Lunch and that, but, Tim, this is for you. You ready? I, I hope because, so. Because I, I wonder I, I really if this is, me out here. in all seriousness, I wonder if this is maybe the sign of a bottom. Jeffries, the investment bank today, yep. said they are done. They're giving up completely on energy and worse they compared the group with the 1962 Metropolitans. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> the, that the worst oh. baseball. Now you told me you had a Mets surprise for me Energy today. So now, is the 62 We're Mets. now a metaphor for the ultimate in futility. Okay, you know, you can do that. <laughs> and by the way, it's Vegas sign. says 86 wins over under. I'm taking the over. And, and Cespedes, I think, is actually yes. those heels after the wild boar accident are still working. But let's get back to energy. When you're talking about now sub 4% in terms of the weighting of the energy sector in the S&P uh, 
and it was used to, at its peak. It was somewhere close to 17. You get why they don't need to be in the space. And and to quote our friend, something inside has died. And and there's no hiding from the fact that the energy sector has been a widowmaker for a lot of people. Having said all that, you talked about Chevron. I think this is one of the one of the most capital disciplined yep. integrated oil companies in the world at a time when rates are zero. Uh, these guys will be paying that dividend till the end of time. They never gave it up, even in the worst and, and time. I, I, John Watson, I, I the can then CEO. Own, I can own Chevron here. Schlumberger, hey, quickly. I think you got to break 30 on the upside. You buy it on a breakout. The most interesting one in that group is Oxy. That's the most levered. Had some huge volume days over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it certainly has. And they owe Buffett some money, too, by the way. All right, let's round things out with the consumer. Names like Kraft Heinz, General Mills, Molson Coors, and Cody, the makeup company, again, all offering some pretty dividends. Dan, you got, you know, look at Kraft Heinz at 6.2, General Mills at 4%. Any of these look attractive? Yeah, I would just say, uh, you know, General Mills over a Kraft Heinz. We know there's a lot of issues there. Um, I don't think you want to kind of dip your toe into the names that have these really structural issues here. So General Mills, you know, we know those staples work okay. They get a little expensive. Oh, we're not we're referring to Jeff Mills. A.K.A. Oh, yeah. General. Yeah, we love Jeff. Right. You Penn Quaker. Hi, Jeff. Play lacrosse. Yeah, play lax. Ten years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, so I, I just think you avoid uh, Kraft Heinz. I, I just don't know why you're involved in that. The name. only issue with General Mills, I like it, that would be my pick out of this group as well, is that you did have the run when people are stockpiling. This is a packaged food company. So people are going out to stores. They're buying ahead. They're yeah. buying water. They're buying cleaning products. They're buy, buying the stuff Dog that General food, Mills, they paid 7 that General for Blue Mills makes. Yeah. So you might want to wait a little bit until the fever kind of breaks on the virus and see where the stock is then before you go hunting for the yield.